Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings, and today we're going to be using some leftover pulled pork in order to make a quesadilla. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go! First thing we're going to do is put a frying pan on the stove over medium-high heat. Add some oil to the pan in order to prevent the quesadilla from sticking to the pan. Then add a burrito-sized tortilla to the pan and make sure that it is making direct contact with the pan. Let the tortilla cook for about a minute before you add the ingredients. And the ingredients that we'll be adding are going to be cheese and some of that leftover pulled pork. Once you have noticed that the bottom layer of cheese is starting to melt, it is then going to be time to add another layer of cheese right on top of the pulled pork. And then fold the quesadilla over. After folding the quesadilla, I'm going to give it about a minute or two for the top layer of cheese to melt and adhere to the top of the quesadilla. I may even flip it a couple times here uh, just to try to get this quesadilla all sealed up. I am noticing that my pan is way too hot. I'm going to turn the temperature down to medium so that the next quesadillas come out. They're not as crispy, not as burnt. Anyways, once you get down to your level of doneness, go ahead and take the quesadilla off of the stove and it'll be time to plate it. I found that the easiest way to cut a quesadilla is going to be using a pizza slicer and it works a lot better on a cutting board than it does on a plate. As you can see right now, I'm having just a little bit of difficulty because the quesadilla keeps on moving on me, but such is life. Once you have cut the quesadilla, what you're going to do is add your toppings. For me, it's going to be a homemade salsa, homemade guacamole, and sour cream. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe as that's the best way to support the channel. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.